How does Kremo's dagger stack with the current Destiny 2 meta? Bungie has reprised two fan favorite weapons inside of Iron Banner, with one being Kremo's dagger. Today, we're going to do a deep dive on how it stacks with some of the current meta options like Conditional Finality, Igneous Hammer, or Luna's Howl. But first, we have to talk about the OG Kremel's Dagger and what is actually carrying over to our reprised version. OG Kremel rolled Threat Detector, Range Finder, Snapshot Sights, and Moving Target as those top picks in third column. Moving Target is present on the reprised version. Over in fourth column now, Explosive Payload, Opening Shot, Zen Moment, and Kill Clip all carry over to our reprised version. But what is the current God Roll? God rules have always been subjective on guns, but in most cases, there are some clear-cut, better options. In third column, we want to focus on Slideways being best in slot, but a secondary pick of Strategist. In fourth column, we want to focus on Precision Instrument. Starting off in third, Slideways reads, Sliding refills 15% of the mag, granting 25 stability and 20 handling for 3 seconds. The buff duration cannot be refreshed. The buff duration also serves as a cooldown for magazine refills, but this can be bypassed by stowing the weapon. Now don't confuse this with Slide Shot, which is present on Luna's Howl. There's no cooldown for Slide Shot, and it offers 20 range and stability for the next shot within 2.5 seconds. Now, Strategist reads as weapon kills will grant 10% class ability energy. Now, based on light.gg, there is a note of class ability usage granting X amount of stability for X amount of seconds. Not really seeing any other info regarding this value. Now, our beefy beloved precision instrument in fourth column, found on both Igneous Hammer and Luna's Howl. This perk reads as direct weapon hits will grant a stack of precision instrument for 1.25 seconds, 2.1 seconds on weapons with a draw slash charge time, to a maximum of 6 stacks. Missing will remove all stacks. Now, precision damage increases are as follows. At 1 stack, 4.17% to a maximum of 25% at 6 stacks. Now with all this being said, I want to draw a direct comparison between Igneous as they are both 120 aggressive frames. Even though Luna's Howl is a 140 that hits like a 120, my personal Igneous God role is Keep Away Precision Instrument. Now Keep Away reads as if no enemies are within 15 meters, grant 10 range, 30 reload speed, and a decrease through accuracy cone growth by 5%. Now for playing with Krimmel's Dagger, I noticed this drastically over prolonged gunfights. Now we also have to consider that we don't get to run Conditional Finality or Chaperone to name a few in top slot. Now in my heart of hearts, I don't think that's a good trade off in high ELO. We can do Igneous or that Luna's Howl roll with Slide Shot Precision Instrument and still have full flexibility in top slot. Let's be real, high ELO Conditional is not leaving that loadout, but we'll say it's just something different to use. Kremel's Dagger does offer a pretty good time. How do you feel about this 120 hand cannon returning? Don't forget, Talent Slayer streams Mondays through Fridays on twitch.tv forward slash Talent Slayer and kick.com forward slash Talent Slayer. Hope to see you there. And remember to slay and conquer.